Assault. Age gets assault, right? Yeah. Just. So fast. She called me a long time away, every weekend here. Really? Oh, every yeah. weekend. There, I heard there used to be like benches over there, right? Like Yeah, benches, then they changed to this. To this yeah. And during the weekend, top players used to come here. Right? Yeah, that's what I've heard. Yeah. I don't know anymore, but before all, very, very good place to come here. During the
Oh my goodness, you're right, yeah. Yeah. So concentrated on that past moment. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well done, good game. <laughs> Hey guys, Brian here. Hope you enjoyed the game. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below and let's go over it to see what we can learn. And one big lesson got seared into my mind today due to this game, so I'm um, going to share that with you. But really quick here in this position, Tony moved bishop d7 and in the game, I decided to kind of maneuver my knight back and then forward with uh, knight c2. But if you want to go move back, pause the video. What would have been an alternative mood for white here? And it's an idea I thought about, but um, eventually I did get there. But I thought it was kind of too soon because it could get kicked out, but that move is knight b5. Threat is this fork here, rook over, I mean rook up to get out of it, and then just sink into this nice outpost and um, rook defending the pawn. And uh, maybe getting the knight here sooner rather than later here uh, with the fork. Um, probably would have been better, but uh, but yeah, let's go here. And what was this is the big theme of this game, I think. Um, in the game, Tony played h6, and then in the game, I took. But if you want to go move back, pause the video. So, right now, white is at four point, well, actually, five now, around five plus five. So, big advantage here. And pause the video, what would have been a better move for white but not only that what is kind of the main theme that white should be looking for here all right first move is rook a6 um, just gonna grab a free pawn over here but the main lesson here is don't give your opponent any chance like especially if they're a good player and he's a pretty good player so that's one of the mistakes I made here um, just 
and here also prevent any sort of counterplay. We saw how, how powerful that rook invasion was down here, so rook up to defend that spot and um, and again just don't give your opponent any counterplay, clean up all his stuff and these pawns will roll so kind of cleaning up all those pawns that delivered the checkmate <clears throat> sorry um yeah stopping all counterplay especially that rook move up here to defend against the rook coming down and yeah that probably should have been the best way to go just kill any chance of uh counterplay any chance of hope from your opponent especially if they're a good player and um you're running low on time mistakes are bound to be made and you know, same thing here. We saw the rook swing over. I played a4, but should have played rook c2. Stop any invasion. And this was actually white's last chance to get in the game. Um, in the here, it's at negative 11.5, and then after the king move here, it's at 0.4. So basically, I have to check and sack the rook. And with perfect play, this will be a draw. But main story of uh, the main lesson of this game, I think, to take away is when you're playing a good player, just, um, yeah, don't give them any chance. Kill any hope, kill any counterplay, clean up all their pieces, and then kind of go for the kill. I think uh, I will, that lesson will definitely be into my mind now. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope you guys enjoyed the analysis. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification, and thanks. I'll see you guys later.